Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have another cash stuffing for you guys. Um, today I will be cash stuffing my paycheck number two of February. Um, this is um, this is combined from Etsy and my part-time job paycheck. So we are stuffing a total of nine hundred and thirty-four dollars. It is a little higher than the usual, and that's because you guys have been very supportive on my Etsy shop and also here on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so, so much. You guys have been ordering a lot of my tie-dye envelopes and also my A7 envelopes. So thank you guys so, so much for all your support and love. I am very, very grateful for that. So thank you guys so much. Now let's go ahead and get straight to the cash stuffing. As always, I do start with my modern planner. I use this as um, my wallet so we will see how much money we have left from last week's cash stuffing um, as you guys saw my last video I did not put any money in my personal envelope so that is empty I will be stuffing five dollars for this week and I'll be doing it in all ones um, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So five dollars going into my personal envelope. And I almost forgot to say, but um, I did leave some money in my checking account because I did take out one envelope from my from one of my binders, and that is my school envelope. And the reason why I took that out from my binder is because I do want to leave some money in my checking account so that way I can cover any of my school expenses. So I decided that that works best for me. So that's why I went ahead and took out my envelope from my uh, from one of my binders. So moving on to self-care, we have 20, 30, and 40. I did not um, spend this money, so I'm going to be adding $10 in here. And that should be $20, $30, $40, and $50 for self-care. Alright, moving on to eating out. I think I did budget $45 for this week, so I have five, six, seven, and eight. So I have $8 left. I'm going to keep the 5 This is going to roll over for this week. And these $3 are going to go in my um, $1 challenge. Okay. Yeah. $1 challenge. Let me... Because these ones are not that nice. So let me put it in the back. Okay. And for eating out, I'm adding $40. So that will be two 20s and in total I have 20, 40 and 45. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I have any receipts. I only have two receipts um, that I will be scanning into Fetch. Um, I will be leaving my code right here on the screen so you guys can sign up for that if you want. You will be getting 2000 points after scanning your first receipt. And there's also a link in my description box down below. So that is going to be it for my modern planner. Now let's go ahead and move on to my bills binder, which is this one. And as always, I start off with my phone bill. Um, for phone bill, I'm adding $7. So 5, 6, and 7. So now for phone bill, I have... 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 dollars. I do pay 25 dollars a month for my phone bill. Uh, moving on to my health insurance, I will be adding 30 dollars in here. So 20 and 30. And now I have 20, 40, 50, and 60 dollars for health insurance. Um, a lot of you guys ask me actually what phone bill I have or my phone plan. Um, I'm under my dad's phone plan. Um, he uses Metro by T-Mobile and since he has like many lines under his name, that's why mine came out to be $25. So that's the reason why I do pay um, 
a low amount for my phone. All right, we were done with health insurance. I think I counted that. We have $60 in here. Now moving on to rent, I'm going to add 125 as usual. So that's 100, 20, and 5. So I have 100, 200, 240, 240. Okay, let's count that again. I've been so excited to film this video. Like I was looking forward to filming because I do really enjoy um, filming um, cash stuffing videos like you guys have no idea but I do love um, filming these and it's been like almost a week since I haven't filmed one so yeah I was looking forward to this day um, so finally I do get to film it I'm so excited so <laughs> for rent I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 45 and 50 so 250 dollars for rent I do also have some exciting news for you guys, but I will tell you in a second. For my grandmother, I will be adding $10. So now my grandmother has 20, 30, 40, and 45. And for sales, I did go ahead and insert a picture of sales in my last video. So a lot of you guys were actually so happy to see him. Um, so yeah, that's my little dog. He will be turning two years um, in April. So for sales, I'm adding $10. So now he has 20, 30, 40, and 45 in his envelope. All right, and that will be it for my um, for this binder. Now let me go ahead and move on to my clear binder. So here we always start off with savings and I've been adding 10% to savings. So for this time it will be receiving $71 and I always do prop money for this envelope. So 50, 70 and 71. Okay, so let me go ahead and organize this. So let's go ahead and count how much we have for savings. Actually, yeah. Okay, so for savings, we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. So 400, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So $419 so far for savings. That's very exciting, guys. Very, very exciting. Um, so here is where I will be showing you the exciting part of this video. Um, let me move this a little bit. There. Okay. I think that works fine. Okay, you guys. So... I created this one right here for my savings because I do want to keep track of how much money I do save for um, just my savings um, in here by, um, by the month. So for January, I do remember that I did save, um, I remember $299. So I'm going to go ahead and write it down over here. So let me actually use, okay, so $299. So that's how much I saved. I did, um, I did create this with a bunch of other ones. So are you guys ready to see this? I did create, um, aside from this, okay, I don't know if you guys were going to be interested on in this, but personally, um, I do want to write and see how much money I saved uh, for each month for my savings. Um, but besides this one, I do have a savings challenge for just savings, as you can see. So you can go ahead and put your goal. And basically, when you have your goal for this year, for example, um, you, will, you will get that amount and divide that amount by how many coins we have in here. 
and then it will give you how much you want to um, save for each little coin. So that's how I created these challenges, you guys. So I have one for savings. I have one for debt. Okay, like I said, you go ahead and put your amount over here and then you divide it by how many, for example, here you have cards. So you will divide that amount by how many cards we have here and that will give you your amount for each card. And then I have another one for month ahead. And then I have for, um, I have one for Christmas. I don't know if you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. Okay, yeah, I think you guys can see. Okay, so I have one for Christmas. I have one for moving. Okay, and then I have another one for car. If you do want to save for a car, like to get a new car, or this can also be for car maintenance. And um, I did include one for like the 52 week challenge. This one right here, it says to save $1,378. And basically, these little stars are already filled in with a number that you have to save, okay? This is a regular 52 weeks. So I wanted to incorporate this one because I thought that this was a basic challenge. Um, so yeah, these are the ones that I've been working on so far. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven savings challenges and then besides this i have this one right here okay and if you are interested on these you guys these are going to be available on my etsy shop as a digital download these ones do fit in your envelope in your laminated envelope i will show you right now so as you can see if it's perfectly in there so yeah if you're interested um let me know in the comments down below and I will be adding those on my Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and continue with the cash stuffing. I feel like this video is going to be too long. I'm so sorry for that, but um, let's go ahead and continue. For month ahead, I will be adding $34. So 20, 30, and four ones. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, so for month ahead, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $105 for month ahead. Okay, so for car, I will be stuffing $50. So I guess I'll do that in 220s. And a 10 for 50. Okay. So for a car, I have 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 440, and 450. So 2,450 dollars. Very, very exciting. I will be participating on some of the savings challenges that I did show you guys. So look out for my next video. I will have those already um, in my envelopes. So for moving, I'm adding a total of $120. I'm very, very happy for this. Okay. So moving has 1,100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 495, and 500. So 1,500 dollars already for moving. That's very, very exciting, you guys. So for parents, I'm adding 10 dollars. So now parents have 20, 40, 50, 55, and 56. So 56 for parents. Joel will be getting $5. And now he has 50, 60, 65, 70, and 75. So 75 for Joel. Next, for my envelope, I will be getting $10. And now I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I did get a keychain for um, this binder here. 
I did get it from Mama's Budgeting Journey here on YouTube. So once it arrives, I will show you guys. Next, I have Health. Health will be getting $1. And now it has $100, $150, $170, $190, and $191. So $191 for Health. Okay, so next for clothes, I'm going to be adding $8. So five, six, seven, and eight. And now clothes have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So $80 for clothes. If I'm going a little too fast, you guys, is because um, I did take a lot of time doing i mean showing you guys my savings challenges and so i feel like this video is going to be um really really long so i'm trying to rush a little so gift will be getting ten dollars and now gift has 50 70 80 90 95 96 97 98 99 and 100 so we have reached 100 dollars for gifts very exciting Christmas will be getting $15, so 10 and a 5. And now it has 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, and 82. So $82 for Christmas so far. I feel like we're doing really good progress for Christmas for this year. And travel won't be getting anything as usual. So that is it you guys for this clear binder now let's go ahead and move on to my last binder here now i feel like i should have show you guys my challenges at the end of the video so that way i didn't take that long at the beginning but you know <laughs> i wasn't prepared but okay for etsy taxes i will be stuffing 200 so one, two hundred and twenty dollars. This makes me so sad, but we do have to set money um, on the side for taxes. So now Etsy taxes has one, two, three, four, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty, six seventy, six seventy five, six. 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. So $684 for Etsy taxes. This is not very exciting. Mm -mm. You are not very exciting to stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, YouTube taxes has 120. Supplies will be getting $81. So let's see 20, 40, 60, 80 and a one okay and so we have 20 40 60 81 101 and 102 so 102 dollars for supplies okay next for shipping i will be adding 13 dollars so 10 and three one so one two and three so now for shipping, I have 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. So 75 for shipping. P.O. Box will be getting $4 as usual. So 1, 2, 3, and $4. Oops. So now P.O. Box has 50, 51, 52, 53, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $59 for P.O. Box. Okay, next for my emergency fund savings challenge. I will be stuffing, let's see, um, $25. So let me mark this up. So 25. And let me add this in here. Okay, 
So for emergency fund, I have 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, and 65. So $165. And this is only for this year. If you are curious, I did save $1,000 last year so i am trying to save another thousand for this year i just want to clarify that um one dollar challenge will be getting three dollars so one two and three and it has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so $19 for $1 challenge. Very exciting. Um, and last but not least is my savings challenge. And this is my 52 week savings challenge. And for this, I will be stuffing, let's see, $20. So let me color this in. All right, so let me go ahead and add this 20. So now for my 52 week savings challenge, I have 100, 150, 170, 190, and 200. So 200 for my 52 week savings challenge. All right, so that is it you guys for this cash stuffing for this week i hope you guys enjoyed i'm so sorry if this video was a little too long but i wanted to show you guys my savings challenges that i created um i will be releasing this in my etsy shop if you are interested okay i will put this as a bundle and maybe i will add them individually so like i said these ones fit in your laminated envelopes and also in your zipper envelopes so i will be also participating in some of these savings challenges i hope you guys like these um, i have worked um, on these very hard especially the sizing was a little complicated but i managed to do it and i have never created like like these before so it was actually like a challenge for me to do this but I'm so happy on how they turned out. I hope you guys like them. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys did. Um, so yeah, um, that is going to be it for this cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave this video a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I do post some stories over there and also when i will be posting new videos here on youtube so definitely go ahead and check it out and with that being said you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye